What's up, gang? Back at it again with the White Vans. Today, I'm gonna be doing, uh, as promised, Six Nines Vinyl Dummy Boy. I actually just took it out of the plastic and made a video with it, but I shot it in the wrong orientation, so I couldn't upload that because the whole thing would be sideways and that would be an embarrassment to me. Not that anyone wa is watching these videos uh, yet. So if uh, I go ahead and pull this out, Look at the cover. Uh, the cover is supposedly the symbolism is significant because the black and white checkerboard pattern is uh, pretty common in the music industry. Cardi B's album uh, had it featured, and so 6 9 himself is just peeing all over the music industry. Uh, this is actually a misprint. So the, al the song Fifi, which actually made this album what it was, uh, super popular. Well, I'd say it turned uh, 6 9 from an underground legend to a pop star, very briefly, isn't on this album. They act, it's a misprint, so FIFA, featuring Gunna, is actually on this album twice. It's on side A, where FIFA is supposed to be, and on side B. So the album itself is really good. Um, when I, when I, I pre-ordered it on vinyl because I really loved it when it came out. And there's no insert, no uh, digital download card. So I pre-ordered the album and it took a while to get to me. I got an email right after I pre-ordered it saying that vinyl production was delayed, which makes sense. Dude got arrested 43 years in jail or something, minimum. Um, this album itself, I was pretty mad that I wasn't gonna be able to get it on vinyl. And I saw a few copies on eBay where you could get it a bootleg version from Europe, but I didn't want that. I wanted the official 6 9 release. So I get the email saying that vinyl production is delayed. I go to the website, the website's domain is for sale, no more. So I'm at that point, I basically assumed, okay, I'm not getting my vinyl, help my man pay his legal fees, but I'm not gonna get the music. Flash forward a few months, I get an email again from the same uh, website that says, hey, just so you know, production's back on, two to three weeks, we'll get it out. Maybe two or three months go by and I finally get uh, another email saying that it's shipped. It sat in a warehouse from in Memphis for like a week before uh, it finally got to me. A lot of people say 6 9s a snitch, 6 9s canceled. That doesn't really have any impact on me. He didn't snitch on me. Uh, this album is great. People are happy to see him in jail, whatever. I'm not happy to see anyone in jail. But at the same time, I'm not going to say like, Free six nine, like let's get this man out of jail tomorrow. Like he probably does have some punishment that he deserves. A lot of people uh, are mad about uh, the sexual assault allegations against him. That's not really a a factor to me because he made a mistake one time and he broadcasted on Instagram Live like the act itself. So I kind of figured it was more an ignorant, stupid decision because he. He kind of showed that he, if he knew that girl was underage, why would he be broadcasting it live? I mean, he is the epitome of ignorance, but I don't think, um, I don't think he's a predator. It's not like Jared from Subway who has all this money and he's like, all right, find me underage girls. It's like he was at a party and hooking up with a girl and br broadcast. I mean, it, it's, it's messed up. It's wrong, but he's not a predator who I think, like like a, a child predator deserves the death penalty. That's something that we can all agree on. I don't consider 6 9 a child predator. Um, the album itself, very, very good. Uh, my biggest concern is that, whereas on graduation day, it was a real showcase of 6 ix talents on this album. He is very diverse. He does do a lot. Those two songs that are entirely in Spanish, but on every single song, he's overshadowed by someone else, whether it be, I mean, the track list, Bobby Shmurda, Little Baby, Murder Beats, Nicki Minaj, Tony L Tori Laurent, Lanez, Kanye, A Boogie With The Hoodie, Anuel A, Gunna, DJ Spin King, Tribe Drew. Every single song is a feature except for one. And uh, so yeah, he's a little bit overshadowed, but this is a great pop album. I've, I've really enjoyed this album from beginning to end. I think on vinyl, it's it's a little bit counterproductive to have an album like this on vinyl because, again, this is one of those albums where I put it in my car with my boosted system, blast it, and the bass, the digital sounds is what you need. Um, on my uh, bargain record player, there's not going to be a bass boost, and if there was, it would shake and not play properly. So what I found is that 
I'm gonna go right to Waka featuring a boogie with the hoodie. This is gonna be Waka featuring a bookie with the hoodie, and unfortunately, a bookie spits the whole time. Six nine spits the whole time. They go back and forth, but this seems more like an a boogie song than a six nine song. Which the whole album, it's like he took the artist and says, "Let's make a song together in your style." I can't help myself from dancing, so if I hit some moves, don't worry. Does anyone know if 6 ix 9 allowed to keep his hair the same way in prison, or have, have they shaved his head like marine style? So as uh, on 6 ix previous mixtape, Graduation Day, I'd say that unless you're a fan of hard style trap music or you, like, you grew up loving the Beastie Boys, I don't think you need to listen to that album unless you're a fan of that kind of music. Whereas this album, I feel like it, pro it uh, projects to a bunch of different dramas, genres. So if you're a fan of pop music, classic hip hop, whatever, you're gonna find something on this album that you like. One of my favorite little tidbits of this album is Six Nines Cancelled, right? I want I thought this album maybe deserved album of the year, but there's no way that's gonna happen. I understand that. I was listening to NPR one time and they were live from a youth homeless shelter or orphanage in Mexico. And they were blasting this song throughout the whole interview. You just heard this song in the background. And so I thought that was really funny that NPR inadvertently played a Six Nine song and they probably didn't even realize it because it was entirely in Spanish. Like, people who hate 6 9 I don't think there's anyone can say that this is a bad song, you know? Like, everyone uh, can appreciate good music, and I think that whereas on 6 9s first album, you kind of have to take it with a grain of salt, especially if you aren't a fan of hardstyle trap music, this album has... Uh, definitely a more pop music feel, so if you aren't a fan of his music, you can at least give this album a try, and I can guarantee you won't hate it. You might not love 6 9 after, you might still hate him as a person, I can't blame you for that, oh no. But you definitely can't uh, say that every song in this album is garbage, because the whole thing basically slaps, I mean... Unless you just like are a contrarian and you hate pop music and the only music you like is ACDC, Metallica, and like Frank Zappa. Like if you stop at 1990, then you're not going to like this album. But if your music tastes even have a little bit of hip hop in them, even if you only like old school legends, this album bangs. It just slaps the whole way through. And I don't think that there's really many people that can deny that. Um, so 6 9 Dummy Boy. I'm going to give this album a solid 9 out of 10. Uh, I wish that Fifi was on the vinyl, but I'm not really uh, talking about the vinyl itself because with hip hop albums, there's real no, no real purpose to playing them on vinyl. But the album itself, Fifi included, 9 out of 10. That's a review. Thanks, guys.